In the far east of Russia, in a region where intense cold meets the turbulent waters of the Pacific, lies one of the most dangerous and least known geological formations on the planet, the Kuril Kamchatka Trench. This impressive submarine trench stretches for about 1,243 miles, 2,000 kilometers, from the southern tip of the Kamchatka Peninsula to beyond the Kuril Islands approaching northern Japan. It marks the point where the immense Pacific Plate is forced beneath the Okhotsk Plate, a subduction process that occurs at a speed of about three and a half inches, nine centimeters per year, accumulating colossal energy over decades. The history of this region is marked by devastating seismic events. One of the most memorable occurred on November 4th, 1952, when a magnitude 9 earthquake violently shook the coast of Kamchatka. The tremor triggered a tsunami that crossed the Pacific within hours, destroying cities, claiming more than 2,300 lives, and reaching as far as Hawaii, Chile, and New Zealand. Since then, the trench has remained active, releasing its force at irregular intervals and keeping scientists and authorities in a constant state of alert. In recent years, worrying signs have begun to intensify. In the year 2025 alone, the region was shaken by seven earthquakes with magnitudes above seven, including one with magnitude 7.4 in July. This event triggered tsunami alerts in several Pacific countries, such as Japan, the United States, and American Samoa. Fortunately, destructive waves did not form, but the mobilization of emergency teams and preventive evacuations showed the severity of the risk. What makes the Kuril-Kamchatka Trench so threatening is its ability to generate megathrust earthquakes, in which large blocks of rock abruptly move on the ocean floor. This type of event is the same that caused the Indian Ocean tragedy in 2004 and the Tohoku disaster in Japan in 2011. The seabed in this area is made up of sediments scraped from the oceanic plate and is filled with underwater volcanoes, seismic fractures, and deformation zones, creating a complex and unstable scenario. In addition to the seismic threat, the region hosts dozens of active volcanoes on the Kamchatka Peninsula, all closely linked to the dynamics of subduction. Volcanic activity triggered by a major earthquake could further worsen the impacts of a disaster, spreading ash, blocking transportation, and harming public health. This combination of forces, tectonic plates, volcanism, and oceans makes the site a true natural laboratory for geologists, but also a ticking time bomb for coastal communities. Thus. While many people around the world are unaware of the existence of the Kuril-Kamchatka Trench, experts warn that its history and behavior indicate that a large-scale event is not only possible but probable. The challenge is knowing exactly when and with what intensity it will occur, something that, so far, remains impossible to predict with precision. When observing the geology of the Kuril-Kamchatka Trench, it is impossible to ignore the intensity of the collision between tectonic plates. The Pacific Plate moves northwestward, diving beneath the Okhotsk Plate with constant and silent force. This compression accumulates an immense amount of energy that, when released, can generate tremors capable of shaking not only the Russian Far East, but the entire Pacific Ring of Fire. Each year the tension grows, like a rope being pulled to its limit. Past events prove the destructive power of this fault. In addition to the historic 1952 earthquake, there was the 2006 episode when a magnitude 8.3 tremor struck the Kuril Islands. Although it generated a smaller impact tsunami, it served as a reminder that this trench remains active and capable of causing significant damage. Since then, several smaller but still powerful quakes have occurred, raising concerns that something much bigger may be coming. The year 2025 has been particularly unsettling for scientists monitoring the region. Between January and July, seven tremors of magnitude greater than seven were recorded, an unusual number for such a short period. This type of behavior resembles what was observed before the Tohoku disaster in Japan in 2011. At that time, years of moderate quakes seemed to slowly advance along the fault until an entire segment ruptured catastrophically. The same phenomenon, known as stress migration, may now be happening in the Kuril-Kamchatka Trench, increasing the risk of a large-scale rupture. The issuance of tsunami alerts after the July earthquake was not just a preventive measure, it was a clear sign that authorities understand the seriousness of the situation. Even without destructive waves, the fact that communities as far away as Hawaii and American Samoa are prepared to evacuate shows that the threat crosses borders. The interconnection of the oceans means that a single event in this region can have global consequences. Given this, 
The scientific community reinforces the importance of monitoring systems in rapid response. Each new tremor, no matter how small, is a piece of the puzzle that helps understand what is to come. However, the lack of data from deep ocean areas still limits forecast accuracy, leaving entire populations in a delicate game of waiting and preparing. If a mega earthquake occurs in the Kuril Kamchatka Trench, the immediate impacts on the Kamchatka Peninsula would be devastating. The region is home to more than 300,000 people, many living in vulnerable coastal communities. A tsunami with waves that could exceed 33 to 66 feet, 10 to 20 meters, would have the power to sweep away entire neighborhoods, destroy ports, and cause irreversible damage to local infrastructure. The reaction time would be extremely short, between 15 and 30 minutes in some areas, making evacuation a monumental challenge. In addition to the giant waves, the earthquake itself would cause widespread destruction. Much of the construction still follows old standards from the Soviet era and was not designed to withstand high magnitude tremors. Bridges, roads, and airstrips could collapse or become inoperable, isolating communities and hindering the arrival of rescue teams. In mountainous areas, landslides could bury entire villages and block the few available access routes. The cascading effect of such a disaster could include fires caused by ruptures in gas lines and spills of toxic substances from industrial facilities. The destruction of ports and warehouses would hinder the supply of food and fuel, while contamination of drinking water would increase the risk of disease. Within hours, a natural tragedy could turn into a large-scale humanitarian crisis. The impact would not be limited to Russia. A tsunami generated in this trench could reach Alaska in about three hours, Hawaii in about seven, and the coast of California in less than 12 hours. Nearby countries, such as Japan, could face destructive waves similar to those of 2011, while Chile, New Zealand, and the Philippines could also be on the potential impact path depending on the epicenter and released energy. There's also the risk that such a powerful earthquake could influence volcanic activity in the region. Kamchatka is one of the most volcanically active places in the world, with dozens of volcanoes under constant monitoring. The sudden release of tectonic energy can destabilize magma chambers and trigger eruptions, spreading ash for hundreds of miles and affecting international air routes. The combination of quakes, giant waves, and possible volcanic activity would make this scenario one of the most complex and challenging natural disasters ever faced in the Pacific region. That is why experts stress that preparation must consider multiple simultaneous risks, not just the earthquake or tsunami in isolation. Aware of the threat, Russia, in partnership with other Pacific countries, has invested in monitoring and alert systems. The Russian Tsunami Warning Center, located in Vladivostok, monitors seismic and oceanographic data in real time, while networks of sensors across the Kamchatka Peninsula record any unusual changes in the ground. These devices allow significant earthquakes to be quickly identified and alerts issued to coastal communities. In some towns, evacuation drills are held periodically. Sirens and signs indicate safe routes to higher ground, and schools train children to act quickly in case of an alert. However, even with this preparation, experts warn that the interval between an earthquake and the arrival of a tsunami can be so short that the margin for error is minimal. This makes population response and the clarity of information crucial for survival. International cooperation also plays an essential role. If you want to follow more content about natural phenomena, geology, and historical disasters, subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you don't miss the next videos. Leave your like to support the work and share this video so more people can learn about the silent threat of the Kuril Kamchatka Trench. Together, we can turn information into prevention.